welcome back to another video. So, these came a bit earlier than I was expecting, uh, but I saw a review of these and I thought, yeah, I might as well check them out. Um, and it took, actually did take me a while to order these because reason, because I just didn't get around to ordering them. Um, GTW 270 Hybrid Closed Acoustic Gaming Wireless Earbuds. So, um, if I can get these and open it up with these. There we go. Open that up. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Oh, and it's magnetic. Oh, I, I like that. Okay, that is a really, oh, this is re this is a, just packaged really nicely. And it all fell out. Uh, what do we have here? That fell out. Oh, the manuals. Yay. Reading mit What the heck is all... So you just have this, and then it's just this big, thick, chunky one here, which is just like... Important safety instructions. It's like... Jeez, it, the safety instruction, there's more safety instructions than there is with fucking, oh, Gremlins, was it? You know that one where if you get them wet, or was it get them wet at night or feed them at night? So duplicates and duplicates are evil. Okay, so, you also have this. What's in here? So, what's this? Come on, come on, get! Where's my tweezers gone? Here we go. So this is like a little case, something there. Oh, I think it's for this. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll put that with that. Um, and you have... Oh, this is nice. So you have little uh, earbuds uh, to fit, uh, you know, that to fit your ear. Um, I remember in school... I don't know how true this story is. Well, I know my side of the story is true, but uh, I don't know how true this teacher story is. But my teacher to once told me that a student of his got not one of these exactly but probably like the rubber ones that you get from like the cheap one pound uh, um, ones you get from like Poundland and you know just like one pound shops and they got one stuck in his ear and had to go to hospital to get removed again don't know how true that is but just something she told me a uh, USB type C to basic USB and USB so USB mail to USB type C mail and USB mail to USB type C female so oh so it's just like um yeah so uh, I'll demo I'll probably explain these in a momento Um, yeah, so he, um, I'll just put that back in there just so you can see what it looks like, looks like when I opened it and I'm making a bit of a mess. So you, you have this, so here we have this, this is, um, the Bluetooth thing, so this sent you know, connect, is connected to the earphones 
and this, and you basically just plug this into wherever you want to listen to. And this is the main reason why I ordered these, or something over like Raycon, because this just makes it way easier to switch from one device to another. And it also makes it possible to listen to your Switch games, um, because the Switch doesn't have Bluetooth, proper Bluetooth, so that's nice. And if we just take this off, I believe. Give me it. Oh, no. Ah. Going for a little bit of a fly. Yeah, but you can keep it safe. You, I think you're supposed to fit in this way. No, it's definitely that way. So to keep it safe, you can put it in this rubber thing. And yeah, nice and safe. Um, so put them there, that there, and that there. So. Oh, and also, um, this is probably for charging this up or something, I don't know. Oh, you yeah, know, this will be for, like, if you want to connect it to your computer, which I did not know, and I actually bought, um, I actually bought the, uh, U-Tech, these U-Tech ones to do that, so, uh, might actually have to do a comparison between those two. Um, see if like one's got good or if one's better than the other or something. Um, but something it doesn't give you, which you will need if you wanna if you play a lot in handheld mode, is on Switch is one of these. So um, you could use one to charge your Switch, one to uh, for the earphone uh, for this, and yeah. Uh, you will need one of them if you want that. So, get these out. Here we have the earphones, and they actually have the tiniest little rubber ones already on them. So that's adorable. And here we have a little bit bulky uh, charging case, which this wire is for, um, this is just like charging wire if you want to charge it up. Um, so yeah, it stores them, so you put them in here. Oh, if, if you put them in the right way around that is. Yeah, you put them in there and they have little shiny magnets on the bottom of them that attach to them as you can see so you attach them to that you close it up oh and it's glowing lights to show you the oh. oh if i could not drop it it has glowing lights to show you the charge which is very nice it's, um and i assume this also has a battery in it uh to charge them up when you're on the go. So, um, I'm just gonna put that in there and them in there as well. And just close this up. Yeah, that is a very nice box. Oh, we have a back. I forgot to lock at the back. Uh, crafted to last, designed to excite, created uh, for those who insist on uh, excellence from their audio devices. We craft the solutions with high quality materials that are built to last, providing the perfect balance between excellent audio and comfort. The real magic happens when uh, users, users experience the purity of sound and clarity of speech and the difference it makes to anything they set out to achieve. 
I mean, they do they certainly do do a good job of selling you the devices on the back. Um, so, um, I guess first things first is to. Um, oh, and then you can see here if you put the earphones in, they'll come up with a little charging light. That's nice. Um, so I assume the fir first thing that I should do is put all that over there and go to, oh, go to sleep, phone. Go to sleep. Right, let's... Oh, right. I like how they're all, like, they, you know, each individual thing has their own little bag. Um, so you can, so you can just, like, pick and choose what you want to open first, but can be a little bit of a pain. Maybe a slightly bigger bag, that's a little bit easier to grab hold. Okay, so we have big. Uh, I'm just... Right, getting these all matched up. There we go. And then if I go into here, I just can I get these out, please? There we go. Okay, that wasn't too difficult to get off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick you up. Oh, that was a bit of a jolt. Oh, yeah, that's not too much trouble, but you can see them all on my lap here. Um. Sorry, that's the best I can do because that camera's not really meant to move about. It's just meant to sit there and make me look good. Which is uh, too much for the camera to do because nothing can make me look good. Close it up, thank you. Oh, I didn't even do it properly, hold on. There we go. Right, so I think the this size will be good for me. So let's put these on and see how they feel. Are they did I get it right first time? So this is right here. Uh, let's get my overgrown hair out of the way. Uh, and yeah, bearing in mind this is the first time I'm ever actually using wireless earbuds, so it might take me a minute to roll. There we go. Ooh, that feels not bad. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just gonna. Yeah, they're not coming out. And I've hit my neck. Oh. Ah. Yeah, but they, that is perfect, good. So, they're about as big as you'd expect them to be, I think. I don't know what's going on. Um, what's that? I came out of, I think. So, so then you can just... Dump these in there. And if you need a different size, you can just pop them out. Um, so I'm gonna end this recording here and I'll be back in a minute after I've read the instructions. Be happy. Okay, so I have my first, uh, not really major, but my first real criticism of this, and is that the instructions aren't super helpful. Like, most of the time you can get the gist of it. Like, something um, like this one. Um, can I get that into focus? There, uh, there we go. 
you can, I get you can get the idea that you know pressing the button does that, but it's just like um, for the most part, but it's just like powering on and auto connect uh, is just like I'm assuming this means that you just put it in and it auto connects. I mean, it's not very uh, some of these aren't super. Um, what they what they're trying to convey isn't super readily readily apparent in some of them. So, um, at least in my opinion, I think they could have done a better job of just like add like a small bit of text, like uh, for that is like um, just something like just plug into your device and it'll automatically connect to your earbuds or something like that. I don't know, or I don't know if that's how it works, but um. I think the first thing I'm going to test this on will be my mobile phone. Um, now, so I want to check here. Nah. So this case is a thick, bulky case. Like, um, I've dropped this while running on um, fairly uh, rough terrain. Like you can see. There, ah, oh, you can't really see on the camera because I don't think it'll focus very well. So you, you can see, there you go, it's focusing slightly. You can see it's a little bit in order there. Uh, a bit of damage there, and it's got like a few. It's been, it's taken some licks, uh, and I've been through three screeners. So, so yeah, I've uh, put this through, through a bit of abuse. So, this is a Nice case for my Google Pixel 4 away. So, um, I am going to need uh, to use this. Perhaps. Yep, so this will just work um, in there because it's a little bit small. It's a bit smaller than this. So, I'm just going to have to plug that in there. Then, plug that into there, I assume. Or maybe. Also, I do not have any idea how to set this up because I've, I did watch a review of it, but I've, that review was so long ago, I can't even remember if they went over how to set this up. Um, right. So, how do I power this on? Hmm. Maybe not working. Oh well. No, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let me try unplugging this. And taking the case off and okay, yeah, yeah. So unplug that from there. Plug it into there. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. It's on now. Okay, so it's not s super phone case friendly because it. I don't know, was it because, hold on, let me try unplugging that again, plugging this back in, and then that in, no, no, okay mate, so, again, not super phone case friendly, so, that's, that's a little bit disappointing, I'll have to test it out with that later, see if it works. If it's the or what's going on there with that, so let's put these in. Wait, are these on? Uh, unlock my phone. Right, can I hear my music through these? Um, 
Just to be safe, I'm just going to uh, How do you check the uh, settings? So actually it's sure. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna be right back again. Okay, yeah, this is literally five seconds where I just left off. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going get to come up on the, in the video because this is copyrighted music. But yeah, it's playing through the earphones and only the earphones. So let's have a listen to this. So I am currently listening to Cello Wars by the Piano Guys. And yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, this that was good. Okay, um, so yeah, I, you couldn't hear any of that because. Uh, this is Cello Wars, and it's just like the song that I, ha uh, I had up on my phone. Um, and it was Star Wars music, so there was no way I was going to be able to play that to, on the in the video without Disney just striking this video down to copyright hell. Um, but it sounds really good. I well, it doesn't really matter if you can hear it or not, because it's not like hearing it through these, unfortunately. But it sounds good really good like crystal clear like um i really like the star wars music and that kind of like um music that's big and operatic and like um cynthia's theme is like and mario galaxy and i've talked i, I actually talked about this in mario galaxy 2 but the week i really love mario galaxy 1 and 2 music because it is just like big and operatic and it makes and it fits perfectly with space because space is enormous so having the music be massive feel massive and important and it and it works well with these like um it's just sounded crystal clear on my um phone uh Again, downside is I won't be able to use my case with this. Um, and I don't know why. I think it might be that. Uh, or maybe that's something I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next device. So there's two more devices I want to try uh, uh, this out on. Uh, the second one is my Switch. And then the third one is going to be my computer through... Uh, adapt. Can, Luna, can you not look there? Uh, snuffle them, because I'm afraid you can eat them. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but a YouTuber. Uh, his girlfriend had a pair, pair of Raycons. Uh, the dog, uh, without them, then when the dog ate the Raycons, and um, he was out on the walk, and the dog did a poop, and he found the Raycons in the poop. And he just rushed home to tell his wife. Um, it's like, honey, I found your Raycons. Like, oh, yeah, where, where are they? In the dog's poop. Hello, Luna. Hi. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try this out on my Switch in a couple of games. 
So, um, going back to what I said earlier uh, about my galaxy and all that, is that I want to try this out on uh, 3D All Stars because uh, in 3D All Stars you can just play music, which I I do like. Like I think people just had a bit of a laugh about it, but that is nice that like, you can just play the music from your favorite games. And you can't hear. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we are. Hmm. Okay, not super high hopes right now because the clicking that the um, box makes when you go left and right doesn't sound the best, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Like, it sounded like perfect on my phone, but I was like, oh, and I'm going to turn this down because it's just a bit loud. Du -du -du -du. Okay, sounding good so far, so I'm just going to go to Mario 64. Um, let's do... Matt 64 theme. Yeah, sounding good. Slider. <laughs> Lethal Adler. Yeah, everything sounds good in Mario 64. Um, so let's try Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Here on this job, Kyle, it's our job to make you smile and tell you on trial, then we get me. Anyway, yeah, sounding good, yeah. Like you expect, you expect if it sounds good with like Mario 64. Yeah, so everything sounds pretty good here. I don't know. I don't know why the sound, the sound of the box moving on the home screen. I don't know why, but that just sounds a bit off to me. I have my complaints about Mario Sunshine, but it's it has some good music. Not my favorite. Still, Mario Galaxy One and Two is my favorite. Okay, but now here's the real test. Mario Galaxy music. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Gusty Garden. Oh. <laughs> King Bowser. Yeah. Oh yeah. I am really enjoying these. These sound really good. Now something I want to test while I'm here is what was it? Right. Uh, will it work through these? Um, 
here. Hmm. No. So it must just be these, and these are probably the reason why it's not. Uh, so maybe I need a different one or something, I don't know. But yeah, that is brilliant. Um, sounds right. So something I want to test out um, before I'm done on my Switch is something I've not tested out yet. Are you going to connect? I don't know what any of these flashing colors mean. Come on. No, it's flashing red and blue. Or what does it mean? Oh, there you go. It just needed uh, a little bit more of a push into the switch. There you go. So it's flashing up red and blue, then I think it just means you just need to make sure it's in properly. Anyway, uh, I want to test out Smash Bros because Smash Bros has some music with uh, lyrics in it. So take... Oh, I forgot to close the software. That was probably bad on my end. Uh, there it is. I think Smash Bros is here. Yes, it is. Oh, and I need to download update data. I forgot about that. I just start the software because I just want some music. There we go. Yeah. Um, the vote. So currently, um, you know, oh, I can't remember the name of the song, but the Smash Bros. theme song is playing, and the woman singing is crystal clear. On that day, when the sky fell away, our world came to an end. Yeah, perfect. Each prayer. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop that before I get distract distracted, and I'm gonna be li I'd be listening to that all day. But yeah. So if you're playing this through directly from your phone or your Switch, it they are perfect. Absolutely, one hundred percent perfect. Um. So, how about through my um, computer? So, I'll be using a different, not this one, but uh, you get two in the pack, but I'll be using this one that they didn't provide, the UTEC. So, I'll be comparing the UTEC one to the one that they provided quickly. So, plug that into the UTEC. And you're going to connect. Hmm. What if I try? Okay, so it didn't connect with that one. Why if I try ah, this one? No, that's it. Could use. Could I use it? Uh, no, I guess it's not USB. Yeah. Let me try there. Oh. Will you work there? There you go. 
So, if I go to my settings, and go to, uh, where's actually got this? Sound mixer options. I'm going to turn off my speakers. And output. Uh, headphones. Oh yeah, I can hear it through the earphones. I'm going to put on Hellfire from the Speck of Frontier Down. Yeah! Perfect! Crystal clear! Yeah. And wait a minute. Anyway, um, before I get too into that, yeah, crystal clear. So, no matter what you prefer playing on, oh, you can't really see my face properly there. Um, there we go. Uh, no matter what you're playing on, whether it's PC, a mobile device, Nintendo Switch, um, and this will, and uh, I believe this will also work on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. Um, I don't currently have them in my living room. Uh, I have like the I have 360 and a PlayStation 2 Slim, uh, but not for free PlayStation 3 or not free or four PlayStation 3 or four. And the I do have an Xbox One in my bedroom, but that's a makeshift DVD player right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to test them out on those devices, but yeah, I think this is really good if you're someone who likes to listen to music, but don't want to fiddle around, uh, you know, with like switching it from your switch to your phone. Uh, from you know from one device to another through Bluetooth and just want to and just prefer the uh, Way of just like unplugging it from one thing plug it into another and I can definitely see I definitely do like that myself um, if I could offer Any real criticism at least right now these are at least my initial um, Impressions of it um, They could have um, add it, uh, giving you a, um, USB type C, you know, extender, the female extender lead for this, because I don't think they did, did they? I know they gave me two, they gave me, they give you this one to charge up the thing, but then there's another one which was, uh, this to, this PC, which is, yeah, which I have here. 
Of course, silly me. Um, so having one to just like um, a USB Type C to go into here because this is a bit too chunky to go into here, and that is something I do have to uh, say is like be aware of your uh, devices, device cases, and all that. So, like make sure your device case is um, friendly to this because. I could probably cut, like, get a knife and just, um, cut a bit out of this so it's not, like, the end of the world, but if I really wanted the, it to go in, in there that badly, but I shouldn't really have to do that, um, needless to say. And, yeah, not, and uh, not only that, but the fact that, uh, you can answer phone calls with this with a press of a button and then hang up by pressing again or mute the person by pressing and holding for three seconds that is really nice like I can just like be out playing Pokemon Go just like listening to uh, whatever music I'm coming to listen to whether it's Cello Wars, Inferno or Mario Mu whatever I'm listening to my favourite music just like Catching Pokemon and all that, taking Luna out for a walk. Then someone calls me, it's like, oh, uh, just gotta. Oh, is it? Which which one is it again? It's the. I think it's the left one. Yeah, it's not the right one. Obviously, it'll take some uh, learning to do. Yeah, so it's the left one on the front of it. So you just go, oh, oh, hello? Anyway, I don't think this has a microphone, does it? So you can answer it, but I don't know if they'll be able to hear you. Oh, sorry, I don't know. I might have to test it out later, get somebody to call me. Um, and try it out on my phone, but... Uh, and, then I, and then, yeah. So I'll be... I'll be... Uh, I'll definitely be using these uh, for a little bit. Just to get a night... Just to get a feel for them. How comfortable they are. And then uh, testing out some stuff with them. And if there's anything that I notice I didn't mention in this video, there will be a pinned comment down in the comment section. And it'll just basically be like, uh, in the video I didn't mention this point, which may or may not be a factor into whether you purchase this. But right now, I would definitely recommend this. Like, these are, have really high quality audio. Uh, at least, like, I'm not, um, bearing in mind, I'm not the biggest audio file, I think they're called. I, I like my audio. I, li I love music and, uh, you know, um, and all that, but it's like, I'm not, like, uh, the most knowledgeable on this kind of stuff. Like, so, it's definitely at least good enough for most people, for, like, most consumers. Like, uh, maybe, like, if you're, like, Omega audio file, like, 350 hertz around sound hate ultra HD audio I don't know uh, I'm just making this off up off the top of my head um based on what I know but um then maybe you might be able to find some flaws in this I'm not able to and again if you buy these and you do notice some of that or you ha or you've seen somebody who has a review about this that might go into some details that I've not gone into. Definitely put those down in the comment section below. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. And now if you excuse me, I'm going to go listen to some music with these babies. Bye-bye.